Nick Audi. I am Eagle Nick. And I want to show y'all some storm damage after the storm. There was a big old tree limb just fell down out of this tree right here and just clobbered the heck out of my neighbor's car. Look at that. It was just hanging up in the tree. And then all of a sudden, we're standing in my yard over here where the second truck is with my cane pole across the driveway. And we heard a loud crash and come down here. And boy, all of a sudden, I thought it didn't do no damage, but it just tore this van all to crap. Now, who do you talk to about damage like that? Who does that tree belong to? The city, the county, or the state? It does not belong to the people that the van belongs to. Man. It was hanging up in the tree from the tornado storm and the real high wind storms we just had the other day. And all of a sudden, it came crashing down, and it just tore that van all to crap. And it just, it, we heard it. 22 right now is all there is. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, we were standing in my yard over here where the truck is with my cane pole that goes across. And all of a sudden I heard a loud crash and I thought it didn't do no damage. 99. And all of a sudden, man, that damn limb came down out of this tree and it landed on my neighbor's van and it just smacked the crap out of it. It wasn't that big of a limb, so you could imagine what that whole tree limb would do if it came down on top of your vehicle. It caused some major damage, especially under President Joe Biden right now. This shit used to have costed you a couple of hundred bucks. Now you're looking at at least a grand at the minimum. That's just for the parts. And then if you put in the labor, I didn't have any bodies to hide there, Mr. Supreme. This is just where a tree limb fell down and crashed like a crap. This is my neighbor's van. That tree limb came crashing down and did some major damage. Sleepy Joe. I don't call him Sleepy Joe. I call him the smelling felon. <laughs> and listen, I want to tell every, all of my YouTube subscribers and everybody out there on the internet that it is time we, the people, flick our bick out of the White House. Biden-induced constipation. He has got this country in the shithole, and it is time that we kick him out and get rid of all of their corrupt policies. No, that is not my house. That is a van that the tree limb fell on. My house is back over here, since you asked. It's back over there, up through there, up my driveway. You see my videos before? You see my cane pole going across my driveway. That truck is one of my subscribers who came up and wanted to meet me. I done knowed him, but he didn't realize who I was. I didn't realize who he was, but I done knowed him. And he knowed me. But I just wanted to cast light on some of this damage. And you notice that is just a small limb, but it must be a Democrat limb because it sure did tear that van all to hell. The van would still be drivable, but if you pulled it out on the road, it's a big old hardwood tree that's been here for a long time. Look, there's two trees. It just came falling down out of there. We heard it. We were standing up in my yard back over where that truck is, and it you see it just tore that van all to pieces. But see, it's like the Democrats. It does a shitload of damage, and then it just lays there and don't do nothing about it. You have to fix it yourself. 
this country is not going to fix itself. Joe Biden ain't going to do nothing but run this country farther into the ground. His border deal ain't no deal at all. After they reach a threshold, they ain't going to let them come in. What about the 10 million that's came in since Biden has been the president? You know, my brother and a lot of my family that's tried to get food stamps was denied food stamps because Georgia put a work requirement on food stamps, which is a violation of our constitutional rights by applying conditions to a federal program that several other states give out that does not have a work conditions. Georgia doesn't realize, or maybe they do realize, but just a Georgia citizens doesn't realize, if you apply for food stamps and they deny you because of a work requirement, sue them for violating your constitutional rights. If you get caught smoking marijuana in the state of Georgia, sue the government for violating your constitutional rights. The Constitution said that if several states pass laws, that every citizen of the United States has the equal rights and protections. Several states. Now, to make an amendment to the Constitution, Two-thirds of the states has to agree and ratify that amendment. But the Constitution only says several states make laws, pass laws, that gives their citizens rights that every citizen of every state in the United States is entitled to those same rights and privileges. It is time we stop letting our corrupt ass government tell us what we can and cannot do. They'll tell us we cannot smoke a joint, but they will sell us that beer. They will say they'll sell us that damn liquor just so they can get you out and pull you over and give you a ticket. The Constitution says that the Congress, which is our federal government, neither shall the states pass laws that infringes on our constitutional rights. Roll Tide. I don't use Tide. I use Gain myself. You might use the Tide washing powders, but I like the Gain. I wish I could comment back to some of these comments, but I don't even see where it allows me to. I need to get me some moderators going to help moderate the channel. The Constitution talks about the rights of the American people. Our rights were given to us by our Creator. Our Constitution was written to uphold those rights. The federal government was formed to protect those rights. And yet our federal government wants to violate our rights. Hey, I'm glad to see you there, upstate New York. I was in Buffalo, New York, December of 22. I about flipped out up there, went into a store, and I asked it a lady. said, excuse me, ma'am, could you tell me how I could get to the closest Hardee's so I could get me a gravy and biscuit? And she programmed a address into the GPS and me and the girl I was with followed it, and it led us into the heart of the ghetto with damn potholes in the road. And the girl I was with, I was driving. It was her car. She said, 
they try to watch it. You have to watch out in areas like this. They'll put stuff in the road, try to get you to stop, and then they'll rob you. So there was a woman, a New Yorker in Buffalo, New York, had sent us into the ghetto trying to get us killed. Trump 2024, a big amen to that. Go, Brandon, go. What do y'all think about that? Let's go, Brandon. For all y'all just arriving, you need to flick your bick out of the White House. Bick is Biden-induced constipation. I do not carry a firearm because if I did, I would use it. I'm a fisherman and not a hunter. What do y'all think about me going up to the police service center and uh, having me some kind of stuffed animal to let me know what kind to tie to the end of my fishing rod and go fishing for some public service of the swine kind? What would y'all think about a video like that? You know, I thought about going fishing up there. Hey, I tell you what, it may not be a good place to live, but hey, I liked it up there. And what sucked so bad is the girl I was with, I didn't get to see Niagara Falls. I didn't get to go to the damn recreational marijuana store. All this girl wanted to do was run around and do stupid shit, so I stayed back at her friend's trailer park in the trailer just hanging out and chilling out. I ended up liking her friends better than I did the gal I ride up there with. But anyway, this is Eagle Nick audience. I am Eagle Nick and I pray that y'all all have a blessed day. This is not Joe Biden. This is Eagle Nick audience. I am Eagle Nick, and I say, fuck Joe Biden. Y'all better realize when y'all say, fuck Joe Biden, that this country could really be fucked if they was to impeach him and they put in Harris. Do y'all really want Harris as the president? That's something for you to think about. I just had to ask them. I started this video because that tree fell on this van and busted out the front there. But I got to talking about old Sleepy Joe, the smelling felon, the number one producer of big Biden induced constipation that's got this whole country full of shit. Eagle Nick audience. I am Eagle Nick and I'm out. Dang. There he is.